In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download, import, and configure iOS XRV in GNS3. So I'll start up the routers, and I'll open up a console to the routers. You can see that the iOS XR router is booting, and so are the two iOS V routers. So all you need to do now is wait for the routers to boot up. Once again, you can see that this is Cisco iOS XR software for the Cisco XR iOS XR V. You can see that the software is booting up. In the background, the Cisco iOS V routers are also booting. Okay, so the iOS XR router has booted. We can log in with a username of Cisco and a password of Cisco. And you can see we are now connected to the iOS XR router. Both my iOS V routers have also booted. So I'll bypass the initial configurations of those routers. So we have two iOS V routers and we have iOS XR. Okay, so notice some of the differences. When I type show run on the XR, I see my interfaces and they shut down. Show IP interface brief shows me various interfaces that are shut down. Show configuration shows us incomplete command. But notice here we've got options such as commit, and we can see a list of commits. The commit database is empty. On an iOS V router, when we type show configuration, we don't have those options. We told that the startup config is not present. Type conf t, interface loopback zero. I'll start by creating a loopback interface on this router. Notice the command IP address is not valid. On classic iOS, when we create a loopback, we can use the command IP address and specify an IP address on the router like this. On XR, however, we have to use the command IPv4 address. And now we can specify an address in this notation. So in some ways, that's a lot nicer than classic iOS. Show run or show running config shows us the running config. Notice that's different to this command on classic iOS. We have to use the command do show run to see the running configuration. Notice also that the show running config doesn't show us the loopback interface. There's no loopback interface in the running config. Whereas on classic iOS, as soon as you type a command, that command is active in the running config. So the loopback has already been configured. Here we have to use the command show configuration and we can see the pending configuration. If we do the command show configuration merge, we'll be able to see what the running config will look like after we apply the configuration to the router. So we need to use the command commit to commit the configuration. So now show running config shows us the running config with the loopback created. That's again very different to classic iOS where when you make a configuration change, it's applied immediately. Interface numbers are also different. So let's go into interface gigabit. And here's our first interface. If we do that on a classic iOS router, notice how this is very different to the options in iOS XR. Same kind of commands work here, so we need to no shut the interface, and then we need to give it an IP version 4 address of let's say 10.1.1.254, .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 and 
And then we have the options to add a mask such as slash 24. On this side, we would use the command IP address 10.1.1.1. And notice here we have to use a subnet mask in dotted decimal notation. I'll no shut to the interface and hopefully now we should be able to ping our iOS XR router. So why is it not working? Why am I not able to ping the router? Notice show run. The interface is still shut down. Show configuration. That's the configuration that we want to apply. Show run still shows us that the interface is shut down. Show configuration merge shows us what the configuration will look like after it's committed. So commit. Interface has now come up. Now one of the great things about this way of doing things is that you have a history of your commits. So you can see that I've done two commits here and you can also roll back your commits if you want to. So it's possible to go back to a previous configuration. That's a lot more difficult to do in classic iOS. So show run shows us that the configuration has been applied. So now we can ping the iOS XR router from the iOS V router. And here I can ping the iOS V router from iOS XR. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was a benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.